Well, I'm here at the Sonnet stand here at NAB 2018, one of two videos we're doing here. So uh, don't forget to check out the other video, which specifically focused on the eGPU and the use with Premiere. This video is about everything else as well, and we've got uh, Greg Laporte to talk us through it. Hi, Greg. Hey, how are you? Yeah, very good. Um, what are we looking at here? Okay, so there's several things that are new. Yeah. One of the things is about an old product that's made new again. Right. So as you know, Apple came out with a new Mac Mini, long-awaited Mac Mini 2018 with Thunderbolt 3. We've had a really long run of popularity with our Rack Mac Pro that holds one or two Mac Minis and our X Mac Pro server that holds uh, Mac Mini plus two slots of PCIe card expansion connected by Thunderbolt. And so uh, we've updated both of these to properly support the new Mac Mini, particularly the six core hotter running uh, Mac Mini. We've got just the right amount of ventilation. We've stress tested like crazy and it works really well. Uh, so what we have here uh, is a little bit of a shortened chassis uh, for more portability on the Rack Mac Mini. Uh, since nobody uses optical drives anymore, we don't offer that as an option. And then on the XMAC uh, mini server, we've uh, introduced uh, two uh, Thunderbolt 3 ports, and everything else is mostly the same as it was before. Brilliant. Amazing piece of kit. I use one myself. Uh, you've got uh, something else you want to show us around the corner? So, it seemed like just yesterday we were talking about, uh, at this show, yeah. our Solo 10G. Uh, Thunderbolt 3 edition. It was a breakthrough below $200 price for 10 gigabit ethernet. Really popular and a lot of requests for some variations of that. So we've come out now with the Solo 10G SFP Plus. It includes an SFP for amazing price of under $250 and uh, Thunderbolt 3 as well. So that will satisfy the needs of those that want optical connections for their 10 gigabit. And then we also have introduced, by popular demand, this kind of retro, Thunderbolt 2 edition of the Solo 10G, because so many work groups are still using Mac Pros and MacBook Pros and iMacs with Thunderbolt 2, and they want to include them in the workflow at 10 gigabit uh, connectivity, so very inexpensive, bus-powered uh, way to make that connectivity work. Then, Fantastic. We uh, are previewing a new member of the 10 gigabit family, which is our um, Echo Pro Dock. And so what you'll see on this side is a 10 gigabit ethernet port, uh, display port for, uh, of course, video out, and two Thunderbolt ports, that's normal in a dock. Yeah. What's not normal is that this is not a hub. Right. Most docks are a hub. You got one a controller that supports all the ports and you share bandwidth if you're trying to do more than one thing you're sharing bandwidth and getting reduced performance. So we've got actually three USB 3.1 10 gigabit controllers supporting six ports. So they come up in pairs for each controller. So there's a type C and a type A for each of the, of the uh, controllers. So you get really, really good bandwidth. These are charging ports, so you have good charging and uh, ability to handle bus power devices that demand a lot of power. So we're excited about this. It'll be out in a few months but it's uh, the dock that professionals have always wanted. Uh, amazing as always, and uh, although we have touched on it, of course, on the other video, there's always your eGPUs as well. Well, the big story about eGPUs is that Premiere Pro is supporting uh, external graphics, and it doesn't look any better than with our Breakaway Box 650 and a, uh, AMD 8200 or 9100, or for the MacBook Pro with our uh, 570 Puck. And just to give you a taste of what what uh, we're, we're talking about, lots of functions are accelerated by GPUs in Premiere Pro. For example, an export, a 10-minute file, 4K ProRes file, 48 minutes without any GPU. You attach even the puck, a 570, and you cut that down to 14 minutes. So tremendous acceleration all across the board. Uh, take a look at what Adobe has uh, to offer there. Greg, thank you very much. Well, obviously, you're showing this here at NAB, but if they weren't able to come and see you here and they want to find out more about your full range of products, what's the website they can go to? www.sonatech.com. Excellent, Greg. Thank you very much. There you go. If you want to find out more about the full range of Sonic products, go and have a look at their website. Don't forget to check out the other video about the amazing integration with Premiere Pro. 
And for more from us here at NAB 2019, you'll find that on our website, kitplus.com.